ready for dictation start honorable speaker before i commence part a of the budget i want to take a moment to acknowledge how isolating and distancing seemed like insurmountable challenges for a country like ours that has people coming together in times of crisis it hurt us in many ways i bow my head in respect to every citizen for the endurance shown in facing what was an undeniably a tough year for all our physical and mental well-being i wish to lay a vision for atmanirbhar bharat atmanirbharta is not a new idea ancient india was largely self-reliant and equally a business epicenter of the world atmanirbhar bharat is an expression of 130 crores indians who have full confidence in their capabilities and skills we are already part of international groupings such as the g20 and brics the coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure and the international solar alliance are realities today due to india's efforts the proposals in will further strengthen the sankalp of nation first doubling farmers income strong infrastructure healthy india good governance opportunities for youth education for all women empowerment and inclusive development among others additionally also on the path to fast implementation are the 13 promises we had made in the budget of 2015-16 which were to materialize during the amrit mahotsav of 2022 on the 75th year of our independence they too resonate with this vision of atmanirbharta the budget proposals for 2021 22 rest on six pillars one health and well being even at the outset i would like to say that the investment on health infrastructure in this budget has increased substantially progressively as institutions absorb more we shall commit more taking a holistic approach to health we focus on strengthening three areas preventive curative and well being a new centrally sponsored scheme pm atmanirbhar swasth bharat yojana will be launched with an outlay of about rupees 64000 crores over 6 years this will develop capacities of primary secondary and tertiary care health systems strengthen existing national institutions and create new institutions to cater to detection and cure of new and emerging diseases to strengthen nutritional content delivery outreach and outcome we will merge the supplementary nutrition program and the portion abhiyan and launch the mission portion 2.0 we shall adopt an intensified strategy to improve nutritional 
outcomes across 112 aspirational districts as suggested by WHO for further swachhta of urban India we intend to focus on complete fecal sludge management and waste water treatment source segregation of garbage reduction in single use plastic reduction in air pollution by effectively managing waste from construction and demolition activities and bio remediation of all legacy dump sites the urban swachh bharat mission 2.0 will be implemented with a total financial allocation of rupees 1 lakh 42000 crores over a period of 5 years from 2021 to 2026 we are separately announcing a voluntary vehicle scrapping policy to phase out old and unfit vehicles this will help in encouraging fuel efficient environment friendly vehicles thereby reducing vehicular pollution and oil import bill vehicles would undergo fitness tests in automated fitness centers after 20 years in case of personal vehicles and after 15 years in case of commercial vehicles details of the scheme will be separately shared by the ministry the new vaccine a made in india product is presently limited to only five states will be rolled out across the country this will avert more than 50000 child deaths annually i have provided rupees 35000 crores for covid-19 vaccine in be 2021 22 i am committed to provide further funds if required the budget outlay for health and well being is rupees 2 lakh 24000 crores in be 2021 22 as against this year's be of rupees 95000 crores an increase of 137 percentage second physical and financial capital and infrastructure for a usd 5 trillion economy our manufacturing sector has to grow in double digits on a sustained basis our manufacturing companies need to become an integral part of global supply chains poses core competence and cutting edge technology to achieve all of the above production linked schemes to create manufacturing global champions for an atmanirbhar bharat have been announced for 13 sectors for this the government has committed nearly rupees 1.97 lakh crores over 5 years starting fy 2021-22 this initiative will help bring scale and size in key sectors create and nurture global champions and provide jobs to our youth to enable the textile industry to become globally competitive attract large investments and boost employment generation a scheme of 
मेगा इन्वेस्टमेंट टेक्सटाइल्स पार्क्स विल बी लॉन्च्ड इन एडिशन टू द पी एल आई स्कीम दिस विल क्रिएट वर्ल्ड क्लास इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर विद प्लग एंड प्ले फैसिलिटीज टू इनेबल क्रिएट ग्लोबल चैंपियंस इन एक्सपोर्ट्स सेवन टेक्सटाइल पार्क्स विल बी इस्टेब्लिश्ड ओवर थ्री ईयर्स दिस शेल हेल्प टू इंक्रीज द टेक्सटाइल प्रोडक्शन इन द कंट्री इन ए लार्ज वे स्टॉप 